Welcome to your weekly intuitive guided messages for January 13th to the 19th. Hey, hey everybody, friends, how's it going? Um, okay, so we're just going to get right into it. Of course, I am 24 Karat Healing. My name's Christine. Thank you for being here every week. I do appreciate it. Um, I am writing, of course, I do my automatic writing before I come into these uh, weekly guided messages. And I start automatic writing, picking up what's going on. So for this week, the, the theme, the word for the week is start. So I know for myself, uh, beginning of January, I was pumped. I'm like, yeah, I got this. There's so many things I want to do. And I wrote down a ton of things. And then now I'm finding I didn't I haven't really started anything. I've been very creative, but I haven't picked one thing. So we're asking, why haven't you started those creative projects? Why are you on the fence? Why are you afraid to dip your toes in the water and just take the first step? So you have the gifts and motivation and you are the expert, okay? Um, stop the analysis paralysis uh, and just get to it. Get out of your head and get on the fast track. Forget everyone else, including your ego. Ego is the, the negative Nancy in there or the negative Ned. Just do it. Just be, you know, just live. So you'll be amazed what happens when you let go and surrender. Forget the opinions of others and let go. <laughs> So you know what? I'm not sitting here preaching and telling you guys what to do because this applies to me as well. So I thought I'd do something a little different today. I am going to, you know, pick three cards for the week and I'm going to do them live instead of picking them uh, beforehand because, you know, I've had some people uh, comment and say, well, how do I know you just didn't pick those cards because it resonated with your message? You're right. But uh, at the end of the day, it's it's from the spirit, from the spirit team. So this is the first card. All right. This is your strength card for the week. And here she is. She is upside down. The thinking woman. Now, I don't believe I've picked this card before. And this is a beautiful card, uh, energy card deck that I use. Sandra Ann Taylor. So the thinking woman, it's the female of wisdom and understanding. Uh, reverse means pay attention, okay? It's a difficult time for you and your personal growth. You may be feeling confused about your purpose or disconnected from your heart's true path. Look within and open up to your inner guidance, okay? Trust your intuition, what you need to learn in order to move on. The thinking woman could also indicate a woman who is misleading you or giving you misinformation of some sort. Be aware and set boundaries with this lady. Remember, your own spirit is always your best guide. All right. So <laughs> we were just talking about starting and then being stuck and not moving on. This is all related. Um, so your affirmation is you open your mind and heart to your inner wisdom. You're thoughtful, focused and clear. Wow, <laughs> that's a fantastic message from Spirit if I ever heard one. Okay, so your, that was your strength card. Now we're working on your heart card. So just shuffling so you guys can see, you guys can see if a card's just, oh, here we go. And again, we have a, a reversal. We have strategy, strategy card, making a plan. So when it's reversed, indicates a stall in progress due to a lack of planning. So you have goals or ideas, but you don't know how to achieve it. Or maybe you found your original plan or idea hit a wall. Now it's time to reevaluate things. If this is the case, remember the path of least resistance may be tempting, but it rarely leads anywhere new, okay? Don't let the mundane tasks of life eat up all your time and take you off course. Instead of wandering in confusion, put some significant mental effort into starting or renewing a plan of attack. 
So yes, you can have a plan, but you have to attack it as well. This card is warning you to get out of the passive observer and become the author and director of your own destiny. So your affirmation is you plan the necessary steps to achieve your goals and you're willing to take action in that direction. You're flexible, persistent, prepared. All right. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I love when spirit comes through. I mean, First of all, we're talking about, you know, starting something. We're just not doing anything. We're getting stuck in the analysis paralysis. And then now it's talking about strategy and it's also talking about thinking. So these are all tied together. I'm just, you know, I'm just amazed, always amazed. I mean, I've only been doing this for a couple months, uh, about six months, but uh, <laughs> it's always amazing to see what pops up in the cards. So this is your challenge card for the week, like, if the other two cards were not challenging enough. So here comes your challenge card. We are asking for the highest good. What do we need to know for this week in regards to what is going to be our challenge for the week? Other than, you know, trying to start something, right? So <laughs> I guess I should bring these cards up so you could see. Oh, there we go. Oh, beauty. She's a beauty. This is a uh, goddess of the moon. Um, now we just had a new moon and an eclipse. So we're coming out of this energy, but this is all about intuition and going within. This card is, you know, showing crystal clear waters. Her arms are stretched out to the moon. You're receiving the light of the moon, the light of inspiration. So it's all about intuition and receiving insights from your soul's point of view. And it's telling you, you have the power to get intuitive. Now's the time to use it on all types of issues. She brings you all sorts of information from the mundane to the spectacular. For instance, you could take a different route from home from work and find out later you avoided a three hour traffic jam. Okay. You might have an, a great invention or a stock investment or a spellbinding novel. And this is, uh, indicates significant blossoming of psychic ability and mediumship, even on a professional level. This is amazing. So you're always blessed with this ability to connect. And the card is telling you it's the time to open up, get ready for amazing inspiration. This brings so, um, your affirmation is you have strong, intuitive voice. You freely receive guidance and you understand and trust the messages you receive. Okay. So in this might be a challenge because that means you have to quiet your mind that, that involves grounding and meditation and working on all of your chakras, cleaning those out as well and, um, removing any blocks and, I talk about this analogy, meaning if, how do I know this is my intuition? Because you could be talking about or thinking about, let's say, football. And you're chatting, all of a sudden, butterfly comes in. And you're like, what? Butterfly has nothing to do with football. That's your intuition. Hello. <laughs> right there. So if it is off the beaten path of whatever you're thinking or talking or writing about, that is your intuition. Okay, folks. So your strength card is the thinking woman. So we need to, you know, get out of our, get out of our heads here a little bit. And, and we need to focus, 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 focus. So it's about wisdom and understanding. So your, your strength challenge is you need to, it's, personal growth, you're feeling confused, disconnected from your purpose, which is attached to a strategy. So that would be part of the confusion. So you need to come up with a concrete plan. And your challenge card is your intuition. So tuning into your intuition more, you will get the answers you seek for your plan and your strategy and finding out who you truly are. All right. That was an amazing reading. For everybody, messages for the week from my spirit team. Thank you very much. Angels, guides, loved ones. And that includes all of you guys on YouTube as well. If you would like a personal reading, I give those. I give a Reiki rescue reading, which I tap into, you know, mediumship, your loved ones. 
your, your spirit guides, your angels. I give, um, you know, psychic um, and future telling, past, present, future. And then I go through your chakras and tell you what needs to be healed and give you a mini healing at the same time. So please subscribe below, share out to your friends. If you subscribe to my newsletter, you get $25 off your first reading. And I have a 15 minute reading, a mini reading for 20 bucks. So you have nothing to lose other than thinking, why didn't I do this sooner, right? And I have amazing reviews on Facebook for all you uh, fence sitters out there, skeptics. And uh, hey, I want to wish you guys an amazing week. Love, light, and blessings to you. And please remember, healing begins where the ego ends.